Christmas Eve gumbo time, and Stephen's coming to help his mama make gumbo. At my age, I don't cook hardly at all anymore. I depend a lot on prepared foods, frozen foods and things, because after all, I'm 87 years old. But I used to cook three meals a day when I was younger for my family. <laughs> My favorite thing to cook is vegetable soup, split pea soup, potato soup. I like soups, especially in the winter time. When we were growing up, Mama always had gumbo on Christmas Eve, but she made seafood gumbo. But when I married, my husband wasn't too fond of crabs and oysters and all that in gumbo. So I started making chicken and shrimp gumbo and okra. making the roux. You put the oil in your pot, a saucepan and you get it warm. And then you put the flour in it and you stir it on a low fire until it gets brown like a copper scent, as brown as a, a penny. Not a shiny new penny, but an old, co old copper color one. You gotta be very careful you don't burn it because if you burn it, you'll have to start all over again. Oh, it takes a long time. It depends on how low the fire is. It takes sometimes 20, 30 minutes or more. More heat, the quicker it'll brown. A lot, a lot of people brown it on a very low fire and it takes much longer. Now we put the vegetables into the roux. The roux is brown enough and now we're gonna let them cook until the onions wilt about 10 minutes. And I use canned tomatoes, whole tomatoes and I chop it up. You can put them in a fruit processor, but if you're not careful, if you put them in a fruit processor, you make tomato juice. <laughs> and after the onions wilted, you put that in with the roux. But now we stir, and we got the tomatoes in it, and, and the roux, and the, all the vegetables. And when you let the tomatoes cook for about 15 or 20 minutes, you pour the stock in it. Here I am deboning the chicken. See, I'm sitting down, I'm an old lady. <laughs> I, I use the dark meat because it's easier and it's not, it don't dry out like the breast meat does. It's sweeter and, eat, and to me it's more tasty. You add the chicken and the okra and you just let it simmer for about 45 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes like something on a low fire. And the okra is thawed out but it's frozen, about it frozen. As I got older, it was too much for me to, to cook the gumbo and all the potato salad and all the other things in one day. I used to do it in one day, but I, I had trouble standing up now, so I'll put, make the gumbo the day before and put it in the refrigerator. And then I warm it up about an, an hour or so before we get ready to eat and then add the shrimp right before we get ready to eat it. I don't, I'll add the shrimp because you don't want the shrimp to cook too long, they'll get tough. And the gumbo is all done. It's cooked about two hours. And we had iced tea and potato salad and all kind of hors d'oeuvres and snacks. And we just had a feast and a lot of good fellowship. You can't beat that to a good Cajun dinner. <laughs>